Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you a super quick and easy way to link to multiple products in your Etsy shop within your listings as a way of getting some free advertising for listings when you sell the same design on more than one product. So let's take a look at how to do that. All right, just quickly before we dive in, a quick intro on me. My name is Jeff. I am an Etsy print-on-demand seller. Been doing this since August of 2020. I currently have over 1,200 sales and over $27,000 in total revenue. All right, so we're gonna look at how to drop a link into individual Etsy listings that will take a prospective buyer to a search result page in your Etsy shop that shows all the products that you offer that same design or similar design theme on as a way of giving yourself some free product promotion that makes it easier for potential buyers to see those additional products. This can be especially helpful if you're selling a design for a niche where say the t-shirt product type has a lot of saturation and you're not in the first you know, page of search results, but you're also selling that design on let's say a mug or a mug and a sweatshirt and a hoodie and those products, or at least one of those products, has lower competition, less saturation, so customers are more likely to see that particular product, even though you offer it on multiple. If you provide a link to those other products in the product listing that gets seen most often, it raises the chances that a potential customer will see that design on all of the products that you offer it. All right, so we're starting on your Etsy shop dashboard page, and I do wanna apologize in advance for how much is gonna be blurred in this video because we're using my real Etsy shop to do this demonstration. So I wanna protect my shop's information. So again, just sorry about how much is blurred, but I think you'll still get the point of what we're doing. Um, so for the example that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna talk about a Father's Day type theme design, and we'll just call it a dad, a new dad niche. So like dad established 2021 would be like an example of a father to be or a new dad uh, type of niche that you could sell in. And it's mid April of 2021. And in the United States, Father's Day is in June. So we got a little bit of time now. So if I'm putting some designs together on multiple products for that niche, for that type of uh, niche, what I'm finding is that some product types are more saturated than others. So for this example, let's just assume that the t-shirt end, the t-shirt products for new dad or dad to be designs is saturated. There's thousands of results. And if I put a new one out there, unless I do heavy promotion of it with Etsy ads and social media and things, not many people are going to see my t-shirt because I'm just kind of a, you know, buried in the other search results. Right. But I also put that same design on a mug and a sweatshirt and a hoodie. And let's, for the sake of this example, let's assume that the mug has lower competition. So I did my research. I used a tool like Sales Samurai, or you can even just search on the Etsy homepage. You can search for new dad mug or dad to be 2021 mug, make it specific to the year you're putting in the design. And let's assume that that one had much lower search results. So it's less competition, right? Less saturated, greater likelihood that potential customers are going to see my design on a mug compared to the t-shirt. So what I want to do is I want to come up with a way for potential customers who might click on my mug listing and see that. I want a way for them to see the other products that I offer that design on because there's less likelihood, especially for the t-shirt, that they're going to find it organically through search because it's more saturated, like I said. So let's show you how to do that. So we're going to go to the listings page and on our listings page, we're going to find the listing for the mug with our design. So let's assume, pretend this is a new dad or a dad to be type of design. And then I'm going to go to my actual store homepage. So the way that you link to it is very simply just to copy and paste a link. You can't make a short link. Um, they don't offer that type of formatting in the Etsy description, but links will work if you just paste the whole URL. So what we wanna do is we don't wanna link to just an individual product because then I'd have to put, you know, three or four separate links in that product listing with here's the t-shirt, here's the hoodie, here's the sweatshirt. And that's too much, right? I don't want to make it look like a jumbled mess. I just want to put one link that lets the customer see all of the products that I offer this design on. So what I'm going to do on my Etsy uh, shop homepage is use the search box to search for the keyword or a couple of keywords 
that are common to all of those listings. So usually it's going to be something in the title of the listing, or it could be something that's in the tags or in the description. So I'm just going to search for dad est, E S T, because that's what I put. I put dad E S T in the title for all of the products that I offer this design on. And I, I know they're blurred out, but there's a, so a few products pop up on the page, right? This page is the URL that I want to grab. And you will notice when you go to get the URL that at the end of it, it will say search query and then whatever you typed in, right? So if you copy that, so do your control C uh, to copy the URL from there. Now come back to your listing and in your description, scroll down to the description section of the listing. And then in there, underneath my product description, you know, my brief description of the design, I'm going to add a line in here that says, check out this design on additional products. Or, you know, you could say something more specific. You could say, we also offer this design on apparel or on t-shirts, on hoodies, on sweatshirts. I'm just going to, for the example, leave it as check out this design on additional products. And then we'll do our control V to paste in that link. And then we'll hit the publish button at the bottom. So we'll republish that listing. And now I'm going to go to that listing page so that you can see that the description will scroll down here and expand the description field. Now you can see in the description, I've got check out this design on additional products. And there is the live link that takes me right to that search page. Instead of taking me to an individual listing or taking me to my shop homepage, it brought me right to this page of search results that only shows the additional products that I offer this same design on. So this is I, from what I've found, this is the fastest way to get customers to see your other products with the same design. Now, you might be wondering, doesn't Etsy show a, the same design to your customers somewhere on the page? Maybe. The answer is maybe. It's not always yes. So you'll notice on the product page, especially if you're not offering free shipping. So this happens to be, remember, it was a mug that we were using. I don't do free shipping on my mugs because the shipping cost is uh, is pretty high. So I pass along some of that shipping cost. I charge shipping on mugs. That way I can keep the face value of the price a little bit lower. You'll notice that when you don't offer free shipping, Etsy will suggest that the buyer purchase something else to get free shipping if you have the free shipping guarantee. I have the free shipping guarantee. So that means anybody who spends over 35 bucks gets free shipping. So they're gonna suggest, hey, buy something else from this shop and you'll get free shipping. Now, they usually just show the product you're viewing plus the most recent other product that you published. Occasionally, I have seen it show another product with the same design. So it's possible that it's doing some algorithm type search behind the scenes where it's looking to see if you have another one. But I know you can't tell this because it's blurred. But in this example, I have four other products with the same design on it. And in this area up here, it's not showing one of those other products. It's showing the most recent item I published, which is completely unrelated to this design. So you can't rely on that. And then at the bottom of the page, there's also a section called more from this shop it may show other designs that have similar keywords so that the customer might see the t-shirt or sweatshirt or hoodie that you offer the same design on this way but it's at the bottom of the page not all customers scroll down that far which is why i like to throw it right in the description a place that hopefully customers are already reading and it takes them right to that search result page where they can see every other product that I offer that design on. So I hope this was a helpful tip for you. Let me know in the comments if it was helpful or if you have a better way of linking to additional products, I would love to know. So let me know in the comments. If you appreciated this tip, then subscribe to the POD Insights channel to see more content like this and give me a thumbs up to help the YouTube algorithm. Thanks everybody. See you next time.